Let's have example number three. Okay, so for example number three, we have, oh, so we have the limit of second squared x minus tan squared x as x approaches positive infinity. Okay, so now we have limits at infinity. Okay, so if we try to substitute positive infinity here, we will have second squared infinity, positive infinity minus tan squared, positive infinity. But it will not make sense. We don't have a concept or notion of what is second infinity. We don't have a notion of or a concept of tangent infinity. Okay, so what do we do now? Okay, so now try to observe our given. So we have second squared x and we have tangent squared x. Okay, so try to remember going back to our uh, identities, we have this here. Okay, so tan squared plus 1 equals second squared. So Again, when you uh, when it seems to be unsolvable, try to observe the form of the given, and maybe there is a uh, formula or identity that we can use. So in, in this case, we have second squared x, and we know that second squared x is just one or tangent, sorry, tangent squared. So instead of theta, we have tangent squared x plus 1. Okay, so our second squared x here is replaced by this. Okay, minus tan squared x. Okay, so we just copy tan squared x. So minus Okay, so this, there's the limit here. Limit as x approaches, sorry, ah, x approaches positive infinity. Okay, so instead of second squared x, we replace it using our Pythagorean identity, tan squared x plus 1. Okay, then copy minus tan squared x. Minus tan squared x. So again, we just copied minus tan x tan squared x. Okay, then observe that tan squared x here. Okay, and tan, negative tan squared x here. Okay, so tan squared x minus tan squared x is just zero. So what will remain is the limit of... So what remains is just one. So we have limit of one as x approaches positive infinity and according to our constant rule the limit of a constant is just the constant itself so the answer is one okay so in this scenario we have used trigonometric identities to solve for the limit of the function so again first step try to observe so try to evaluate the function at infinity so if you try to uh, substitute this becomes infinity second squared infinity minus tan squared infinity so we have infinity minus infinity that is an indeterminate form so whenever we have an indeterminate form it means that we can do something about it okay then observe the form of the given uh, then check among the list of identities if there is something we can use and in our identities we saw second squared x okay so using second squared x which is equivalent to tan squared x plus one we substitute tan squared x plus one to our sec squared x okay then copy minus tan squared x subtract uh, try to simplify subtract tan squared x minus tan squared x and what remains is one so the limit of one is just one itself we can confirm this again using our graph. So we have second squared x, uh, sorry, uh, f of x equals second squared x minus tan squared x. Okay, so observe that the graph is 
you have the graph here, the green line, it's just a horizontal line passing through 1. So, in other words, the value of our function will always just be at 1. Again, it's just 1 here. So, based on our y-axis, it's just 1. There is no other fluctuations in the graph. It's just 1.